Hello everybody, and thank you for tuning in for another delightful segment of Highly Inappropriate with me, your host, Pierce Ontavius. Sorry. Um, so for today's topic, I want to talk about something that I've been at a... I've been having a bit of a conflict of interest with one of my friends, with a few of my friends over, and that's relationships. So, um, relationships. Everybody loves them because, you know, there's somebody else, you know, and they love you back, you know, they, they care about you, they genuinely want to see you do well, you know? But it seems that in the, the, the gay community, their ideal, because I have this philosophy on being in a relationship, and I know this video is going to be freaking ridiculous and it's going to go off track, but I like to believe even in the gay community, that it's possible for someone to wait, you know, get in a relationship with someone without having, oh, let's say, intercourse. Because for some reason, people, the, the gay men I come across, they all seem to be like, they just want to have sex and then that's it. Some people don't want to just have sex. They want to build a relationship, start a foundation, you know, because if a relationship is built on entirely on sex, then what will it, what, what is the relationship, you know? I, I don't, this is probably not going to be a good video at all, but I just pissed me off the fact that I've been told by numerous gay people that wanting a monogamous relationship with another guy is just out of hand, it's like, it's just unheard of, like, why? Oh gosh! Oh. It pisses me off, sorry. It really pisses me off that I, I've been hearing this from numerous, numerous friends at the moment. Because I... I don't want to have sex. I, no, I just don't want to. I want to build a relationship first and then maybe one day have sex. I know that makes it sound weird, but I'm sorry. I just want to have something real. Because what if you get with this person, you know, you're like, oh, I think I really like you, and then, you know, let's go shag, you know, and then next thing you know, the person doesn't call you back, you're looking dumbfounded, flabbergasted, discombobulated over why they didn't call you back, when you're like, I thought we had something, but not actually, they just use you for booty call. I'm not speaking from prior experience, because it hasn't happened to me, or well, not yet anyway, I don't know, but no, so, what? I don't even know what the basis of this video is right now. It's just, I feel like I'm just ranting over how pissed I am right now. Because I've been at war with my friends over this topic of gay people and relationships. And because for some reason they're like, in our age range, you know, people, monogamous relationships are just, you know, it's not cool, it's not, it's not what's hot. And I'm just like, why can't we go against the status quo? I, I can't be the only one that feels like you should be in a relationship, like a real relationship, you know, before you stop fooling around, and even then, you know, I think you should wait just a little while, because the first person really is just after, you know, booty. That's not boot. I don't know. I'm going to end this video now, because I, I'm pissed. I'm pissed, and my name is Piss, and it kind of sounds like, it sounds like the same thing right now. Oh, there's one of my friends down below. Oh wait, I don't know that girl. Sorry, but I don't know, this video, I don't know, oh gosh, whatever. I'm just really dis I'm, I'm, what's the word am I looking for right now? I am flabbergasted. That's, we'll go with that right now. Sorry about it, this video isn't as good as my normal, my normal ones, but I don't know. Maybe straight relationships are different, but I just feel like if you're in a relationship with someone, you know, you should, I mean, if you're going to be, I'm sorry, I'm going to end this right now. Tell me what you think. Ha Gosh, I can't even talk right now. I'm sorry, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye bye. <sighs> oh my gosh, that was terrible. I don't think I've ever done a video quite as horrid. Okay, quiet. I'm so sorry that I'm back again so quickly with the same topic. But I'm not saying you have to wait till marriage. I mean, sure, in the Bible it says this. Oh crap, is it? Am I freaking showing up right now? And can you even see me? Okay. Oh gosh. But I just feel like you should wait until you're in a relationship before you fool around and do anything with anybody. It, I feel like it, it takes your character down a bit if you're like fooling around with Beth, Bobby, Jim, Chris, Don, Jessica, Chris, 
whatever. Oh gosh, I'm thinking mad right now. <clears throat> sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody, because this is not like me. This is highly inappropriate right now. I should be. I should have had my thoughts together before I started filming. But I started filming, and then like I realised I really do feel kind of passionate about this. I mean. Sure, you should wait till marriage, but if you're not going to wait till marriage, I think you should. You shouldn't just go out and fool around with Biff Bob Beb and Sue. I can't even talk right now! <sighs> My accent is failing me. I mean, I feel like I sound like an American now. What's going on? It's really. Sc Am I losing it? I first feel like I'm losing it. My life is just in turmoil right now. I don't know what's going on. The right one for me is out there. And they want to wait before wait until they're in a relationship before they have sex. Maybe I should characterize this video to a certain person since they won't call me on the phone right now because I'm trying to talk to them about how I feel about this. But it's not like we're in a relationship or anything. But I feel, this video is too freaking long right now. I'm getting so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so freaking mad. <sighs> I'm gonna edit any of this out. I'm just gonna freaking do this so let this be a whole video. And then I'm gonna look back on this next week and when it's time for me to do another video on the 15th, and I'm gonna be like, dude, what was I thinking? I'm like, seriously, that was just highly inappropriate. This video right now, we're just gonna call this highly inappropriate. This video I'm doing, it's highly inappropriate. Oh my gosh. Maybe, maybe, I'm just blabbering now, like, because I feel like I'm saying the same things over and over. Oh my gosh. And my friend right here, you can't see him, but he's sitting here, he's just listening to me go on and on. I sound like a blumbering idiot. Oh gosh. I'm seriously losing it. I think my cheese is seriously, is like, has slid off my cracker. Like, I don't know what's going on. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm like having a nervous breakdown on the camera. I need to get, okay, I'm gonna stop filming because I seriously need to go doing some, doing something productive. I need to go, I need to go on a walk. It's a nice fall day outside. I should go for a walk to clear my head. But my head is gonna constantly keep coming back to this thing. The fact that, if my mother is watching this right now, I'm so sorry if I'm disappointing you by talking about this. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. I don't know what this video is about, right? It's. It started off as one thing, but I feel like it's kind of, it's like, it's like when someone's driving a car and like, it's like they start swerving into the other lane. I feel like that's what's happening here. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to end this now. If you, I'm so sorry if I lose viewers over this because I love you all so much. And then I've been so depressed about Jamie. Like, I was watching, you know, Jamie Rodemeyer's, like, his, it just makes me so sad, like, because he, he didn't even have a chance to live. And it's like, it's just, I mean, it made me, I, I was seeing, like, I don't even cry, like, I don't cry. I, I know that's supposed to sound like I'm a robot or something, but I do not cry. And, like, the other day, I was, like, seriously close to tears, because I was, like, looking at, I was watching his videos, and I was just like, this is so sad, like, he felt homeless and alone, and, like, he ended it all. Like, I wish I could have been the shoulder he could have cried, and like, I want to be that person, you know, I, if you feel like you don't want to cry or something, just please come to me, don't, don't. I know that I'm like this random YouTube personality, but I care. I hate to see someone sad. It makes me really sad. <sighs> I'm sorry, now I'm blabbering again because I'm just going off topic. Just. Oh gosh. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm having a nervous breakdown. I will, next time I come back with a new video, I will. My voice is like cracking right now. See, I'm really, I'm really upset right now. Why did he have to die? Why? He didn't even... Oh gosh, oh gosh. I need to do a It Gets Better video. That's... I'm gonna make one of those. One of these days. I don't even know if anyone will watch it, but I'm gonna make one. Because it really does. It gets better. I know right now, it doesn't, from, what I, from what I'm saying, it doesn't sound like it gets better, but it does. I'm gonna end this now, because this video is probably gonna end up being like 10 minutes long. And yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. Alright, um, everybody, this has been Pierce Ontavius. Wing. Um, and I will talk to you all again on the 15th. You will see me. And I'm so sorry that I was late on some of my videos.
college has been kind of trying me right now because I have this one class. Just not even gonna talk about that because you don't care. But anyway, um, something's happening weird with my camera. My tie is messing up. This has been Pierce on Tavis with highly inappropriate because this video is just hot. I don't think I'm gonna title this. I'm just gonna call this highly inappropriate. My phone's ringing. I've got to go. Talk to you all again very very soon. Bye bye. Love you all. I'm actually going to be having a